Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you some cool cubing related software I made. So earlier this morning I made a PLL spreadsheet that shows all my times for PLLs. And I know I'm really newbie, I only have one sub one, and that's the UB perm. But yeah, it basically what it does is you put your times in. I'll show you one example. Let's say on this AA perm, I had a 1.00. Then watch what the graph does. You, you can see right there uh, the AA perm. So it goes down to match what, you, what you've what you entered. And it also changes the total down here along with the mean and standard deviation. So I'm going to control Z that. But yeah, I have some notes here to remember which ones are which for like the A and B stuff. Uh, that's just for me. But I have put a blank version of this on my website, which I haven't actually used in over a year. But it does exist, so I'll have a link to that in the description, and you can download it and play around with it. So this next program I made is a uh, an automatic cube reviewer that I made that I coded using Python. And so this was kind of done as a joke sort of thing because I've noticed that a lot of 3x3 reviews lately have all been very similar. And it seems like it would be really easy to just make a formula where you enter some data about a 3x3 and then it basically spits out a review. So that's exactly what I did. So for this, um, this will be on my website too so you can play around with it. I'm going to be reviewing the stickerless die on Guhong version 1. And then you have to rate the turning on a scale of 1 to 5. So... It's pretty decent, I'll give it a 4. And then you rate corner cutting, which on this cube really is just mediocre, it's like line to line, so not that great, but I'll give that a 3. Popping problems? This cube pops all the time because it has no torpedoes, and also because I've loosened mine quite a bit. I have tightened it a little bit more than it was before, but it's still pretty loose. But I'll give it a 2 because it pops very often. Corner twisting, that happens almost never, so I'll give that a 4. Price quality, so it's $12 on the cubicle.us, so you basically have to say, is it worth it, in your opinion, on a scale of 1 to 5. So I'm going to give it a 4. And then the corner cutting amount, we already checked that, so I'll type in line to line. And then the price, like I said, $12. Where's the dollar sign? There we go. Turning style, I'm going to call this... So basically what they want here is like some adjectives. So I'm going to say fast, smooth, and locky. Fast, smooth, and sometimes locky. And then the store we bought it, so I'm going to say the cubicle because that's where it's $12, so cubicle.us. Size is 57 millimeters. And then there's your review. So. Sorry if that's kind of hard to read. I'll read it out loud. The Dion Guhong V1 stickerless costs $12 at the cubicle.us and is 57 millimeters in size. The turning quality is excellent and it has a very fast, smooth, and sometimes locky feel. The corner cutting is just okay at around line to line. This cube pops very often, much more than most current cubes. Corner twisting on this cube is very rare. Overall, this cube is a pretty nice cube, although it is pretty far from being the best on the market. I would mainly recommend it to collectors, but it probably will only be the main of a few people. So yeah, that's my so that's my automatic cube reviewer. I know it could use some work and stuff. I'm not the best programmer, but it was very fun to make. I'll say that much. And this will be on my website. You can feel free to tweak it. But yeah, so that's about it for this video. Check out my website to download both of those things. Maybe use them for fun and stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.